is a tweet by uh, BJP icon self head Mr. Rahul Gandhi. He goes on to say that Rahul visits uh, a temple in Odisha, but uh, BJP's Amit Malviya has attacked Rahul Gandhi on the Twitter and posted a video of Rahul's temple run, Chunavi Hindu, and uh, that's the allegation against Rahul Gandhi. The kind of narrative that we have seen earlier as well that the Congress Party runs to temples only in the election season, uh, and they're not somebody who have been real supporters of the religion. Our senior editor Pallavi Ghosh with us on the broadcast. Pallavi, uh, Chunavi Hindu, that attack is back and will resonate further in the run-up to 2024. Exactly, and even as those pictures have been put out by the Congress party of Rahul Gandhi visiting various temples and the Bharat Joro Nyaya Yatra is at this point of time in Odisha and even when he was in Jharkhand, he had stoked a lot of controversy over the way he was doing puja and how there were cameras there and how Rahul Gandhi and the Congress party always accusing the Prime Minister of mixing religion with politics. Well, this is a chance which the BJP is now using to hit back at the Congress and specifically on Rahul Gandhi that whenever the election around the corner. Rahul Gandhi makes it a point to go to temples. In this particular tweet which has been put out by Amit Malviya, he's talking about the fact that when Rahul Gandhi enters a temple in Odisha, he tells the pujari to put a chota sa tilak. So why is Rahul Gandhi anti-Hindu? So this is a narrative which is likely gained traction particularly post Ram Mandir uh, Pran Pratishtha in Ayodhya where the Congress top leadership were conspicuous by their absence and a narrative was then built up by the BJP that the Congress party is anti-Hindu. They only visit temples only when their elections are around the corner. Only when the election is around the corner. Pallavi, it's, it's there for everyone to see that post the Pran Pratishtha ceremony on the 22nd of January. Um, religion, of course, has become the undercurrent of the political narrative in our country. But once again, to reiterate the importance of it, how critical it would be, religion as a factor, Sanatana as a factor, along with the development narrative, of course, uh, as we inch closer to the Lok Sabha elections. And Anusha, contrary to a perception that Ram or religion matters only as far as the northern uh, belt politics is concerned, I think the BJP is trying to prick holes in that. Uh, because uh, if you remember, just in the run-up to a Pran Patish, the Prime Minister took the entire Ram route uh, to show wherever the Ram. He, in fact, made a point to go to all the Ram temples, which has a very deep connect with Astha, with uh, Ram, Ramayan, uh, to make the point that Ram is a thread which binds north and south. So I think the BJP is certainly used, going to use this narrative that Ram is something which is not limited only to the Hindi heartland belt and therefore southern party or even the Congress party which now remains strong in two big states of south which is Karnataka and Telangana cannot walk away by saying that religion does not really matter. I think there is a little shift in the strategy of the BJP as well. Off late when the Prime Minister has been going to say a Goa and other states as well, he's giving a lot of focus on development. <coughs> and this is very clear attempt to make the point that while he believes that religious faith and religious beliefs of the people are important, Asta matters, but development matters even more so. And that is where I think as a part of a political strategy, they're going to try and catch the opposition, particularly the Congress party, on the wrong foot by making the point that, look, there come elections, they start going to temples, they criticize us for mixing religion with politics, they are neither able to offer development alternatives and nor are they able to, uh, you know, convince people that they do have faith or they do have asta. All right, Pallavi, thank you so much for putting all of that into perspective. We'll, of course, keep coming back to you for more on that story. Now,